He's a two-time NBA assists leader and six-time All-Star from the Los Angeles Clippers, CP3, Chris Paul. So on a beautiful 62-degree day in Houston, Texas, TNT's continuing coverage brings us to the 62nd edition of the NBA All-Star Game, a sellout crowd Better than 18,000 making their way in. It's the third time that the city of Houston has hosted the Eastern Conference versus the Western Conference. And it's coming up momentarily. The West controls as Chris Paul faces LeBron James. James opening at the point. Paul to his L.A. Clipper teammate. Blake Griffin, Carmelo suffering an arm injury the other day. In fact, comes off a 5 of 24 and said he had a dead arm. So it should be interesting to see how he does here tonight. Definitely a shooter with a dead arm. These two guys, Chris Paul and Blake Griffin, the most dynamic pick and roll combination in the league. And they have taken over Los Angeles. I always like watching these coaches on the sideline, you know, during the All-Star game they're, they're so concerned defensively during the regular season and all of a sudden every principle goes out the window but before long Spolstra and Bobovich are going to get frustrated with what's going on out there Chris Paul had about five minutes to think about that shot and knocks down a three Paul with the steal try to drop it he does put it behind him he, he heard footsteps and it happened to be Kobe Bryant hey. So Tony Parker right to it. Ball has moved. No yep. one's really doing too many isolation plays. It's been very competitive. Although Chris Paul continues to pick up the assist by feeding his teammate Blake Griffin. That's assist number five for Paul. Once again, it's Paul on the setup, this time for David Lee of the Warriors. I don't think the Celtics should do anything. They've got a magic with their team right now. Even with the injuries, they've found something special. I think you kind of owe it to your fans to to really complete the deal here. Let's see how far we can go. Uh, let, let's let KG and, and Pierce retire as Celtics. Paul with a beautiful pass. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I know Chris Paul is not even looking to score, but his passes have been on point tonight. Now Paul goes <laughs> baseline off the head fake. Faked out Bosch, but a foul. Did he go through his legs on that? <laughs> We got to get a replay of that one. And back comes James. LeBron puts it off the backboard. <laughs> a pass intended for himself did not work. Two on one the other way. This time it's Paul with the layup. Pass off the mark. It's a three on two. Paul tries to loop it. Griffin with the catch and puts it down. I loved a couple years ago when Bill Russell was asked, hey, if you played in the NBA today, how many points would you average? He said, I don't know, about 10. I said, 10? I said, well, I am 75 years old. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's the old line that all the guys use. It's a great line. It's worth repeating. Well, I'll tell Come you on. what, if he's averaging 10 points at 75, <laughs> someone sign him up now. <laughs> Durant for three. Duncan comes to Griffin. Oh, looked like he's setting up a, a yeah. three-point well, shoot. Yeah, he's, 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 he's taking part of his skills yeah. competition on Saturday night. Ball eight points, 13 assists. Paul with the bucket and a foul. So LeBron moves it across, gets the pick from Chandler, and fires. Paul for Durant. <laughs> Kevin Durant soaring off the lead pass from Chris Paul. I was impressed at the detail with which Greg Popovich figured this out as <laughs> Blake Griffin with another long dunk pass from his partner Chris Paul. Here's Paul. Oh, nice move. Oh. That's what separates him from Kyrie. Kyrie. From Kyrie. Mm -hmm. The skill set Kyrie might have him with the, with the jump shot, the range, but boy, Paul has all those little tricks of the trade. Paul for three. Chris Paul has been sensational. 16 points, 15 assists. CP3 MVP. Paul backs it up. He's been joined by the seven footer. Oh, I love Paul it. Paul for three. Oh, my goodness. That seals it. Oh, my 
my goodness, yeah, he's got to be the MVP. Oh, that's your man. He has to be. Look at Noah. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I got you all right, big fella. <laughs> the West will make it three straight wins over the East, four of the last five, and they do it by the score of 143 to 138. On a night like tonight, there could only be one MVP with 20 points, 15 assists, four steals. Chris Paul is the most valuable player of the 2013 NBA All-Star Game. CP3, you, uh, as we waited to do this, you said, this is crazy. Uh, why do you say that? You just never expect something like this. You know, all these great players that I have the opportunity to play with, uh, it's an honor and a privilege. You came into this game as the all-time leader in all-star history in assists per game. You had 15 today, and those numbers only Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas have done it in all-star games. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. Anytime you're mentioned with those guys, is like I said, an honor and a privilege. But when you get a chance to get out on the court with, you know, Russ, uh, KD, all these guys, these guys that I don't get a chance to play with that often, uh, it's easy. I got the easy part. All I got to do is get in the ball. Uh, what was going on between you and Kevin Hart all night long? Kevin Hart, you know, these guys always say I have a little man complex. What do you think he has? <laughs> he said it, I didn't. Here's your, uh, here's your MVP of the All-Star Game in 2013, Chris Paul. <laughs>